Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music in Newberry, South Carolina. We're going to talk really quickly about how to play a song called Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. And it starts on an A minor chord. And we're going to take the first finger and put them on the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go on the D on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go on the G string on the second fret. If we strum all the strings with that, that's called A minor. It's very sad. But then the only other chord that we really need for the verses for Rhiannon is F major. And you could play an F major, which is... Um, kind of a, a difficult chord, it's a bar chord. The way that you play a bar F is you take the first finger and put them over the entire first fret, like as close to the line as you possibly can, and take two and put them on the G string on the second fret. The third finger is going to go on the A on the third fret, and the pinky goes underneath that on the D on the third fret. And that's called a bar chord because of the way that you're using your first finger to kind of bar across the entire fret. Um, but that, for a beginner, can be very difficult, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to do something called F major 7, which is actually a pretty easy chord. First finger is going to go on the B on the first fret, second finger is going to go on the G on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go on the D on the third fret, and you can strum all the strings with that, and that's called F major 7. So it's basically like the first finger is in the, in the same place as A minor, too, so you can use the first finger as a guide finger um, between the A minor F major 7. So you don't actually have to move the first finger in the verses. But the way the verse progression starts is we're going to have A minor. And what I like to do is I, I like adding a, a strum pattern to those chords. So, so we're going to have A minor, and then A minor, and then F major 7, F major 7, for the bulk of the tune. But to fill in time, what you do with, um, is, is a strum pattern. And my favorite strum pattern for, for, for this song and, and for 4-4 four, four in general is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if we did that on A minor, down, down, up, up, down, to another A minor, down, down, up, up, down, and then we go to F major 7, down, down, up, up, down, F major 7, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down. to C major, the way you play C major is first fingers on the B on the first fret, so same place he is for A minor and F major 7. The second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. So it looks a lot like F major 7, but you're skipping the G string between 1 and 2. But that's called C major. So the chorus, we, we start on C major, so we, and we can do the same strum pattern. So we got C with the down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up. and the three back to the G and the D string. So then F down, down, down.
of how you would play a song called Rihanna about Fleetwood Mags that you could strum through this song. So, good luck!